Hey guys, so I have here my JBL Clip 4 and in this video I want to explain to you how to replace the battery on this portable Bluetooth speaker. So the process is actually really simple and you can complete this job in less than 10 minutes. Okay, so we start by removing the front cover and I'm just going to use here a simple screwdriver from my pocket knife. I'm going to pry in between the front cover, the grill, and then the plastic that's right next to it. So there are a couple of plastic pins on the cover that are glued onto the rest of the body of the speaker and you have to break that plastic, this uh, glue bonding here. So let me show you those pins here. You see two on the bottom, and then there's two in the center on the right and on the left. Actually you see the left one is broken and then there's two more on the top so those are the ones those connections that you have to break in order to remove the front cover you see here these holes here that's where there's still a little bit of uh, glue residue in there and you saw that i accidentally broke one of those pins off but you can see most of them you should be able to detach without really breaking them okay so next we have here five phillips screws that we're going to remove and then we can really easily remove the back cover here so but you have to be careful when you do that because there's a whole bunch of wires that go from the front to the back and you don't want to rip those off so be careful when you open up the two pieces of the body but luckily there are connectors to all of those cables on the motherboard so we can relatively easily detach those you see here there's a couple of cables going to the driver and then there's more to the buttons on the front cover and then of course here for the charging port there's also one here so uh, carefully detach all of those so there's three of them that you have to detach so this is the one for the buttons and then here the one on the far left that's the for the driver or the speaker itself then there's one additional connector here and that is going straight to the battery so as you can see, replacing the battery is going to be really easy because we don't have to do any soldering uh, of wires here. So the battery is kind of wedged into this little plastic compartment that you see here. But if you just pull it out just like I did here by turning it a little bit, then it's relatively easy to get the old battery out of the case here. So now let me show you the original battery, the values and the model number here. See so here, 3.7 volts. 1050 milliamp hours and here GSP 903052 that's the model number of the battery in case you don't have your replacement battery yet then you can just google that number or that model number and you will find a replacement okay so now inserting the new battery is relatively easy you just put that in you do see that the original battery has this padding and uh, your replacement may not have that so I would suggest you also add some padding in there so that the battery doesn't get damaged. Okay so next we can already reconnect the new battery now to the motherboard here. Check for the correct orientation of the connector when you do that. And all we have to do at this point is reassemble the entire speaker so we reconnect all the different wires that we detached previously. The good thing here is that all the connectors have different sizes and shapes so you cannot really make any mistake here. Just always make sure you put them in, in the right orientation and that's all you have to look out for. Now at this point we can make a quick check that we have assembled everything correctly. I'm just going to press the power button and we should be able to hear the jingle that the speaker turns on and eventually also connects to our smartphone and since everything seems in order i'm just going to now attach the back cover to the rest of the body and make sure that you have everything tightened up here and that there's nothing in between the seal here and then we can add the phillips screws again i'm first adding all five screws very loosely and only when i have all the screws in there and i'm really sure that everything is aligned right then I'm going to really tighten up all the five screws. I am doing it this way in order to try to really make the speaker waterproof again. And then the last step is to attach the front cover again. And you may be lucky that by just pushing the cover back on that it stays in place. But in case it does come off eventually or you just want to make sure then I would suggest you add some glue onto the six pins that we've seen at the beginning of the video 
and then you should be fine and the cover should never come off again unless you want to again of course in the future okay so this is already it here the replacement of the battery on the jbl clip 4 i hope you found this video helpful then give me a thumbs up and if you have any more questions or comments then please write a message below